What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Worth It series. So it's been quite a while since we've done one of these. Uh, this was always one of my favorite series to do just because it doesn't really interrupt anything else and it's just a nice little small series just to, you know, check and find out if things are worth it. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at rats. So I made a rats guide not too long ago and the thing with the rats guide was uh, a lot of people have different opinions on it. Is it is it really good? Is it just good? Or is it bad? And in the video I, I, I've come to the conclusion that it's pretty good. And I was almost curious to see how good. And that that's when this event came out, and the two halves are going to come together. So, with, with rots, you get a lot of different random items. But the ones I'm more interested in are the ones you get a lot of, the Barrows items. So, the Barrows items, if you put them together in a set, equals 10 mil. And right now, with the event, every 10 mil equals one rod. So, cash is king right now. So, what we're going to do is we're starting on a brand new account. I'm going to just time real quick and see how long it takes to get 99 magic. We're going to go from 1 to 99 magic. I'm going to uh, hopefully be able to accomplish that relatively easy. Uh, if you do need, like, cash, go just thieve at home, and that'll get you enough cash. Um, so, I'm going to get started, and I will update you along the way on where I'm going to be training and whatnot. It's only about two minutes in, and we are already level 50 magic. The... Uh, monsters here at the event are not as hard as I thought they were going to be for a new account, so just come kill, kill them here. I, I leveled up pretty quick, and, and they they don't do much damage, and you, you get some food to start off with. Um, also, ch keep an eye on the trivia questions. They're not too hard to answer. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Just if you can't answer it, answer it. It's extra cash to add towards buying runes. Runes are kind of expensive, so the first couple kills are probably just going to be um, getting getting whatever money we get from it. We'll just put it right back in the rooms. Once we're 100% set up, I will do a full hour of rots, and um, and then we'll see the loot from that. But I just wanted to prove that it is pretty simple to do on a brand new account. You don't need any real gear. Alright, so take every opportunity you can to upgrade your gear. Now that we're at 60 magic, go to Cone Colon MB and get yourself a magic cape. Uh, the Zora skills from the event, they do sell, I think, for like 1500 each. So that's some nice money. It's definitely going to add up. I don't really recall how much half keys sell for if you can even sell them, but Crystal Chest is always fun to open anyways, especially for newer players. You know, you're going to get some good loot to help you start out. I definitely underestimated how much these sell for, or overestimated, I guess, is the better way to word it. But it is still a nice little chunk of money. We're, we're going to be working on our gear upgrades. These things drop nature runes, so, oh shit, why not? Let's elk some, let's elk some stuff just to get some extra experience while we're killing them. Uh, I totally forgot about it, but there's an achievement for high elking 100 items. So, or high elking 100 times, what is it? It's 100 times, or items, yeah, 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 fair enough, same difference. But, uh, yeah, cash tax looking good. We are 81, we are currently going for 86. You're going to want prayer. Um, if you're not doing the event, or if you're watching this when the event isn't here, um, normally here, there's some uh, tr a trader named Rosalo at the moment. He's at the event, but if he's not, if the event is going on, he'll be right here. He sells lava dragon bones, um, so it's the same process. Uh, just just try to buy as many as you can and get to at least 43 pair. We ended up getting some from the event, but again, that doesn't matter where you get them from. Just matters that you got them. Uh, all you really need is 43 prayer, so I'm just going to get to 43 and then sell the leftovers. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me let me let me let me explain what we're doing here. I just wanted to test to make sure that worked before I went there. So, uh, we are 86 magic. That is the first spell where you can use all multis. Now, if you wanted to, you could go kill rots with smoke barrage. But I want to try to get to 92 for blood barrage because blood barrage is what you're going to use. You don't actually need 99, so we're not going to go for 99. We're just going to go for, right, right for blood barrage. I'm going to take what money I have, put it in runes, and then go kill some maniacal monkeys. And I'll show you where you go to do that. And keep in mind, this burns through a lot of money. So if you're not interested in doing a lot of thieving or you just don't have a lot of money to do with, maybe skip this method and just stick with condition, you know, your conventional training. And then, of course, you can buy food and prayer pots and whatnot from this shop right here in the dental store. So in order to get to where I just was, go to Cone Colon Hall. And then once you are teleported there, there is a fairy ring right here. Use this fairy ring. Then once you use the fairy ring, use this fairy ring and go to Maniacal Monkeys. This is where you're going to want to pray. I actually have no clue how much damage they do, but I would say pray because they're going to be fighting a lot of one monster. So stay here until you are 92 magic. And then once you're 92, buy everything you need for Blood Barrage and you are ready to go for rots. I am at... I am at 87 magic just now and we are at 49 minutes on time, so... 
uh, we're making pretty good progress. As you can see, we burn through runes, so uh, definitely I would only recommend this if you've got the cash to back it up. We did get a Serum and Brew drop from the rare drop table. That's just a normal rare drop table drop. And that's some good cash, so that'll help out pay for things. But we are currently at 90, so almost there. Okay, so we have 92 magic. That is the level we need for Blood Barrage. And it took us 54 minutes and 35 seconds to do. So that part is done. Let me gear up, and we are actually going to start the rots. <laughs> we're going to do rots. We're going to do one hour of rots with this gear. Like I said, we don't have a whole lot of money left over, so we might end up having to sell some of our loots to get cash back to buy more runes. But I'm not going to show you that process. I'll just go through it all. In order to get there, just use the minigame teleport, the first teleport barrels. This is what we're using. You, your prayer does drain very fast, and they can hit through your prayer. So do pay attention. It is possible to die. So just pay as much attention as you can. And we will start the boss. So uh, if you watch my video, you kind of know what you're expecting. But I'll just give you a rundown. So step one to the left of Aram's. And then what that does is that puts them all in a line like this. And then you can proceed to kill Derek's first. Derek's hits hard. Um, I assume his max is 99. So that means through prayer he can hit a 45. Um, the Blood Barrage should help you heal, but then also pay, pay, you know, pay attention and eat your sharks. So I'll just kind of show you what the first kill looks like, and then we'll uh, we'll be back with a loot from one hour of Rots, and we'll figure out the big question: Is Rots worth it? Ooh, tooth ash. Oh, keep your keep your prayer up. It's worth having. It's it's worth getting. I would recommend getting it. One left. Carol's is probably always going to be the hardest, but that makes sense because he ranges. Okay, so we just killed it. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we got. First loot. Just click your book when you're done. Boom. So 10 barrels, tablets, 25 instant tokens, Aram's hood. You know what? We can we can use that if we had somebody defense. Those instance tokens sell for a lot, so we should have a nice chunk of money for runes. You can also buy Kromb ones if you wanted some emergency food just in case you're getting comboed, or of course brews always work. Nice, so our eighth one, and we actually got a full set. That is possible to get. You can get full set completely, and that is 10 mil cash guaranteed. So I'm just going to sell that right now and uh, put that money towards more supplies, more food, and everything. All right, so this will be my last one. We are one minute away. Uh, I should probably be able to clutch this out. One minute. And the final loot of the worth it episode. Ooh, not bad. A gnome snarf. Gnome scarf is actually pretty good. It gives you rare components. I don't know if it has a shop value. Does it? It doesn't. So rare components is really where its value is. Um, I would just say save it for later. Or I think it might be tradable. I, I don't know of any way to know how, if it would be tradable or not, but it could have some, some pretty decent value on the open market because it does give a lot of rare components. So here we go. Here's the full look of the bank. We had 10 mil earlier, but I, I did use on some supplies. So we, we only ended up getting one more set. And then the rest of these pieces kind of sell for inconsistent prices. Some of them will sell for decent value. Some of them will sell for lower value. The best way to do it is to try to make as many sets as possible because that's where your money comes from. So let me give you an example. I know for a fact we have a Kirill, we have at least one Carol set. So if we go to this dude... You can see we're roughly going to get 4 mil, but if we combine it all together, it's a nice and powerful 10 mil. So, I'm going to put whatever sets we can, whatever, whatever, what other sets can we do? Um, we can do one Varix. We can do, uh, we can't do an Arams. And we can't do a Torex, so I guess that's it on the sets. But you do have your individual pieces. I suppose I'll sell those. If you were going to do this as like a brand new account, I would recommend keeping those. Just saving them for later until you get the pieces to put them for sets. We did also get three Ring of Wealth Eyes. They don't work for Rots, but they do work for other things. And if you're a new account, that is useful. We also got a 10 Crystal Key Drop. I think one of those was just extra. They, they, they can access the Rare Drop Table and stuff like that. So you can get random loots. We did end up getting, I think, 5 mil cash from that as well. Um, so this is the loot for pretty much everything in our inventory. Let's put this set together. One good thing about the minigame is you also receive... Okay, that's a pretty decent loot from Mystery Box. That's worth 10 mil cash. Um, you also do get puck points. You get 100 per... How many do we end up doing? We ended up doing 26. 
So let me sell this and we'll see what money we have. I wouldn't really recommend selling onyxes. They're only one one mil, 1.2 mil. And you can exchange them for a 100k tuckle, which is one mystery box. And a mystery box is valued around 10 mil. So you can either open the mystery box or just sell it yourself. But with everything else, we're looking at about 160 mil or so. Or not 160 mil, 60 mil, 64 mil. And then we got these extras. I have no clue what these would sell for. Um, I can sort of say that these are 10 mil a piece. So about 80 mil, 90 mil an hour. That's pretty good. That's really solid. And as you saw, it requires nothing. We're on a brand new account. So that's going to do it for me. The question is, is Rots worth it? I think it is. I think it definitely is. This only took two hours and we almost have 100 mil cash. You could probably get 36 mil for the rest of this stuff. I think I think even if you just open the crystal keys, you could probably get some good stuff. If you wanted to check out Ash's Dungeon, you could probably do it in two hours. And, and this is just the easiest method. I'm sure there's tons of different ways. You could go home and just loot the floor and see what kind of shenanigans you can come up with. But uh, as far as Rots goes, I think it's worth it. And if you had a better account with better gear, it'd only be better.